In this video we are going to talk about all about wine corks. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Have you noticed that different wine manufacturers utilize a variety of different kinds of closures on their bottles of wine? If this is the case and you are interested in learning more about the advantages and disadvantages of various types of cork, the following guide on wine closures was written with you in mind. Why are corks used to seal wines? Because the cork material allows wines to age without deteriorating, wine corks have been the preferred option for wine closures for generations. There is a good explanation for this preference. Wine corks are made of a porous substance that allows small amounts of air to contact with the wine while it is being stored. This encourages the wine to mature and undergo flavor and aroma changes over time. The flexibility of the cork, on the other hand, allows it to expand, thereby hermetically sealing the bottleneck and ensuring that none of the liquid may escape from the container. In recent years, a few new wine closure solutions have hit the market, however, classic wine corks continue to be the most popular option for contemporary wine companies. This is because corks provide a natural seal that protects the wine from oxidation. These various different wine corks and closures are discussed in greater detail in the following sections. Simply adhering to established custom is one of the main reasons why we still seal wine bottles with corks today. Since the dawn of time, vessels used to store wine have been sealed with either cork or other types of sealants of varying composition. Before the invention of corks, the most common materials used for bottle sealants were cloth or leather, and these were eventually replaced by clay and sealing wax. It has been suggested that the ancient Greeks and Romans utilized cork as a closure, despite the fact that it was not the most popular option at the time. By the 1500s, glass was commonly used as a sealant. Because the bottles were hand-blown at the time, each glass stopper was also created on an individual basis. As a result, glass was both expensive and difficult to manufacture. The Origin and Development of the Wine Cork when it became possible to manufacture glass wine bottles with an almost uniform shape and design in the late 1600s, cork gradually began to replace other materials as the preferred choice for the sealing material. It wasn't until the late 1700s that easy-to-use corkscrews were invented for wine enthusiasts and people who owned taverns. In that era of history, cork was used in place of glass wine stoppers, which, despite the fact that they performed their function admirably, were difficult to remove from wine bottles without breaking them. As soon as the cork and wine bottle were combined, fine wine entered the modern era. What are the various kinds of wine corks and other closures that are available? You've come to the right place if you're curious about the distinctions between natural and synthetic corks, as well as the reasons why some wineries opt to employ screw caps rather than corks. The list that follows will answer your questions. Number 12. Unprocessed Cork. A wine bottle can be sealed with natural cork, which is an option that is renewable, recyclable, and biodegradable. Cork is the most conventional method for sealing wine bottles, and in recent times, over 70% of all wines have been sealed with cork. This ratio is significantly higher for fine wines, with cork closures appearing on 89% of Wine Spectator's Top 100 Wines in 2016. This is also due in part to the fact that natural cork of excellent quality lends subtle and diverse tastes to the wine as it ages. Number 11. Man-made or synthetic cork. Cork is not actually used in the production of synthetic corks. These cork imitators, on the other hand, are not constructed from genuine cork but rather from synthetic plastic compounds designed to mimic the properties of natural cork. The advantage of using these corks is that there is a very low to non-existent danger of TCA contamination, sometimes known as cork taint. Number 10. The cork for champagne and sparkling wine. The cork discs that are located at the bottom of champagne and sparkling wine corks are shaped differently than those that are found in regular wine corks. These discs are more elastic and as a result, when paired with the carbon dioxide, CO2, and the 6 to 8 bars of pressure that are present in sparkling wine, they expand to form the mushroom-shaped cork that is common today. Number 9. Agglomerate cork, also called grainy cork. Grainy corks are an alternative to traditional corks that are available at a lower cost and are used for wines that are meant to be consumed almost immediately. 
These corks feature a maximum wine storage term of two years and are made from granulates that are left over from the creation of natural corks. Number 8. A cork with a cap. This bottle closure is made up of one part natural cork and one part plastic, so you get the benefits of both materials in one convenient package. These kinds of caps are more typically found on alcoholic beverages that contain substantial volumes of alcohol and are therefore not intended to be consumed in a single sitting. Number 7. A cap with a screw. Because of the special advantages they offer, screw caps have quickly become one of the most common choices for sealing wine bottles in recent years in a number of nations, including New Zealand, where they account for 90% of all wine closures. Screw caps allow for almost no exposure to oxygen, making them an excellent choice for wines like Sauvignon Blanc, but they are not a good choice for wines that are intended to mature and become more complex over time. Number 6. Hermetic Cork. These are airtight corks that may be reused, and they are typically employed in the process of resealing a bottle after only a portion of its contents have been consumed. This is a common option for sparkling wines, and recorking these wines with their original corks can sometimes result in the cork bursting back off when it is stored in the refrigerator. However, this is not always the case. Number 5. Vinolox slash Vinoseal. This recently developed solution for sealing wine bottles is constructed from glass, making it a recyclable and eco-friendly choice. It was debuted not long ago. This closure choice, however, is not as helpful as a few of the other options because it is expensive and does not work well for maturing wines. Other solutions are more useful. Number 4. Zork. The ZORK functions as both a closure and a pull-off capsule in one convenient device. This alternative closure is designed to fit the majority of normal 750 ml wine bottles, and once it has been opened, it transforms into a reusable tasting cork. Number 3. Helix. The combination of a cork and a glass bottle is known as a helix cork and is very recent in its development. The glass of the bottleneck needs to be built with a spiral pattern in order to employ this particular cork, but once it is in place, the style of cork is rather simple to open and reseal when it is needed. Number 2. The Royal Crown. The crown cap is a common choice for sparkling wine bottles as well, in addition to being used frequently on beers and other beverages with a comparable appearance. Crown caps are known for providing consistency and dependability in wine storage. Number 1. Trying out the cork. Wines can be resealed and opened with minimal effort and in a short amount of time using tasting corks. They have an appearance that is comparable to that of capped corks and are a standard component found in wineries and tasting rooms. Which types of wine corks are the most desirable and why? Although every wine producer has unique requirements for their wines, the majority of the world's finest winemakers continue to use natural cork as their primary method of wine closure. Ridge Vineyards also favors natural cork, which is what we utilize for all of our bottlings and have done so ever since the company was established in 1962. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you want to hear from us again, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.